Pani sa host going. En Kirk Brouwer. Or Kirk. I think uh, around 2 kilometers or maybe maybe in 3 kilometers to the island will slow this town down and uh, slowly ease it onto the island instead of uh, going there max speed. Uh, these wheels should uh, hold up to 50 meters per second but I, I wouldn't be so sure how, we, how they work when you get out of the water and all that. How you are making it? Uh, it's a probe, uh, night buses. This is a probe core here. So it's actually unmanned craft. Like a drone in there. We unlocked those parts. The Sputnik part was already opened, and this is the smaller one. So I just put this on the end here. Just had some nice tacos and <laughs> nothing special to do all evening. <laughs> nice. Target him. Oh, yeah. Um. Can I target? Oh well, doesn't want to click on the thing at all. We went to nice uh, pizza buffet with my wife today. It was pretty good. They were having uh, this uh, some kind of American days or something, and they had mini pancakes and uh, all kinds of stuff, pan pizzas. It's pretty good. They have a dessert buffet as well, so that's why my wife likes it. I like the pizza part and uh, she likes the dessert buffet. <laughs> it's actually lifted itself a bit again, so let's get it down just just an inch. Yeah, this, this looks like a good trajectory. Uh, this island has like this this thing, like this bend here. And uh, I would like to, like to kind of go from here up to the island. So let me look. Look at this turning. This is a, this is really not good. I'm actually pressing the front controls. I, I really need to keep it as steady as possible and not flip it from side to side or anything. Let me actually slow the speed a bit. I have to say I'm, I'm not really a fan of pan pizza at all. Just wasn't good, although I'm. It, it wasn't really high high quality <laughs> pizza to be honest, but it's not really for my taste. I, I like the regular thin crust much more. Hey Tunis, <sighs> still ten kilometers to go. It's not the mo bestest and fastest <laughs> way of traveling on Kerbin. With the plane we would have been there and back already. But it's nice change of pace doing something like this instead of flying. We went from space <laughs> space rockets to planes to boats. Probably bicycles tomorrow. Actually we went uh, and did uh, race cars yesterday as well so crust wins every time, no doubt. Yeah. Problem with the pan pizzas I've been eating uh, is that they have such a thick uh, crust on them that it's like eating a bowl of dough and a bit of pizza toppings on it, which I don't really like. If if the pan pizza was more like having a thin crust uh, and and an edge and then just inch or a couple of fillings would be much better. So it's like a pie instead of pizza. <laughs> I would enjoy it but much, much better. So y you can see the... well, it's kind of difficult to see, but there is a coast here. And it kind of goes this way, like sideways there. So I, I need to slow down, slowly ease my way in, in there, turn, get up the hill, pick up Ordin, go get into the water again and get my way back home. Uh, let's slow down. About 15 meters per second would be the optimal to get there. 
of Don Wobble. Also, I really would like to use the time warp with this, but I'm sure the time warp is just plain suicide with this craft. We can actually go just just a bit faster. I mean, time warp is just <laughs> deadly when you are flying on the Gerbin and even with the spaceships, it can tear your ship apart. And when you are in the water, how you are not really supposed to play the game, I'm sure it will have couple issues, like million issues and uh, more, and explode the whole thing. After I'm done with this rescue mission or whatever it is, <laughs> epic fail, uh, we'll go and build a new rocket. I have some plans how to do a better and more efficient rocket to get my gerbils into the space and to the other planets. And uh, with that plane, uh, I'm mean, I mean rocket, I think I will first go test it out and uh, uh, rescuing uh, Jeb, well not, not rescuing, just picking him up from the space, I mean from the moon, and uh, I would like to do um, a Duna flyby today maybe, I if, if I have time and uh, get the craft working well enough. Hey Bungie, how's it going? Yeah, this is my care boat hover craft. It, it uh, sits on the air intakes and drives around on the water. So now I need to do... Well, let's get a bit further, then we need to do a careful turn towards the coast here and get Ordin onto the hovercraft. You can actually... Let me slow it down. <laughs> I don't want to do turns with speed. Ah, get down. Ah, it's handling bad. Ah, it's handling really bad. It's sinking. We need we need speed for control. Slowly turn it. <laughs> it's definitely not the safest craft around. This uh, solar panel line is actually a pretty good indicator where where we are going. Uh oh, that wh when we splash, that's sign of bad things are about to happen, and we need to turn it down a bit. I mean, uh, I need to push this front part into the water so that the bottom and that the backside doesn't hit the water. It's actually the probe core hitting the water that creates the splash. Yeah, and I was, I, I've noticed the Twitch being shot really garbage and not, not sending sending emails, not doing anything at all. Um, that is also broken as well, Nightbusters. I did mark the video to be sent uh, as a notif- I mean the notification to be sent. Uh, actually double checked when you mentioned it earlier today on the stream chat and it was still marked so YouTube just didn't send it for some reason that that hill is a bit steep I'm actually pretty scared about getting up there and we should have gone more from the side ah yes ah yes it's not good. Well, here here goes nothing. Uh. Oh crap! <laughs> well, we lost the right side. And there goes the engine. Well, shit. Well, <laughs> almost got to the origin. Crap. 
Guess we need to do some new plans. <laughs> I think next time when I actually try this, we should go from up there and not 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 here. I I wasn't really sure which way would be the best one. But that was that one looks much safer than this one. Why do you need to get on land? Hmm. Can't you just the Kerb doesn't really wanna go into the water. I don't I don't think so. So I could have just parked this although the um oh, hmm. I should have stopped at the coast here. You're correct, not Pasask. Should have parked here, not get to the land that well. And uh just get onto the boat with the Kerbal and drive it back to the home. Oh well. Let's uh, revert the flight and let's go build a proper spaceship. No, not this kind of funny. So Eric, uh, was it Eric who asked about the ladders? So the ladders are actually here in the front. They are just uh, inside this casing here when they are not lowered. So it does have So my plan was to park this next to him, he would have climbed over here and get on top of the driving mechanism here and drive it home himself, but no. This needs improvement. It's it's uh, really unsafe due to this engine. The engine is the problem, not the, not the design that much. Could have lowered uh, the fuel amount just a bit more, but let's get, let's get here. I'm gonna... take my lander, I think. Moon rover, uh, moon lander, yeah. This is my craft I've been using uh, for moon landings. And it's a horrible, horrible mess. I love this... Uh, not that. Uh, there. I, I really like this uh, top part. This is a really good w and working top part. It gets us uh, into the space and back to the home and it has science parts and everything on it. It's it's really cool. Uh, this this part down here is all kinds of messy. So we'll get rid of that and we'll build a new new bottom part for my ro uh, rocket. And we'll be doing some some silly stuff with that, I guess. Which means we need... Ooh, these are actually new. New solid boosters. Are those? No, 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 no. Those are the old ones. It's kind of strange having uh, multiple pages now as well. Uh, those. Yes. Next night, but stay. Ah, uh, hmm. I think two, two will be enough. Hopefully. Liquid fuel and en engine. Then we need. Oops, we need a uh, those. Those new radial decouplers. There we go. Should actually probably move this just a bit. Uh, press R, uh, Rave Killer. <laughs> hey, uh, Air Marshal Ben, how's it going? So this will be my 
new and improved design. Ah, the other way. No, that's actually it. the correct way. Multiple engines on top of each other. Uh, I do have multiple. En I mean, you cannot have. Hmm. Uh, technically, you could not, but I got I got to fire these engines as well, as uh, and these down here. So you could have basically side rockets on top of each other. Uh, and. Uh, Technically, I have uh, engines on top of each other on this one alre already. Wouldn't the three engines on the top part be better? Probably. Could, uh, could actually do that as well. And should. Let's uh, redesign the top part as well. Uh, you can, but you can it well, of course you cannot use them at the same time, but you, you can do it. Where is the separator? Am I missing a separator now? I am. So basically, uh, let me break this apart so you see what I mean. Uh, basically, uh, if you look at the middle night buses, there is a middle engine here, and these are connected to each other. So, and I stage these off and have the second engine fire up. Bottom ones, yeah, that's also a problem. But you can stage them like this, which you probably have seen already. Okay, that's better. Yeah, you, you can do it now, but I'm, I'm basically doing that already. Uh, but not fully, I, I guess, utilizing that yet. Because uh, I have the top part here is a separate one. This one is uh, another stage, and then there is the middle part, the big one. So it's a long, thin, wide part. If you take this off, like, well, I can show. So that's basically my rocket uh, without the side engine. So. There is this part here, the bottom part, is one engine, which will drop off when it runs out of fuel. Then you have this part, and then you have this part. So it's basically uh, three stages. Actually, it doesn't have engine there, but it could. So you can do a thin, long, wide, I mean thin, wide, well, uh, tall rocket like this. With uh, different stages and uh, slowly dropping parts off and getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, also the Kerbal aerodynamics cause issues. Uh, I was actually using the smaller one. Mm. Let me do some candles. Oops, that's a lot of canceling. Can you... Redo. The 
this is gonna need a ton of ton of ton of duct tape. Oh fuck it, it's good enough. <laughs> Yeah, bubble on that, but the whole whole rocket goes like bubble, bubble, bubble. I still made the orbit of my rocket way too big. <laughs> yeah, rave clear. That is actually one of the easiest things to do in Kerbal. Mess it up and uh, shoot the rocket to the space. I actually did like the four engine version instead of three. So I'm gonna be using that one. I just need to rebuild it. After I now took the parts off. Oh. Why is it uh, defaulting to the 8 ones now? I did like this one. Ah, Kerbal, why you are so bad? Okay, hmm, let me see if I can do this now. Um, no. I need to f me move the fuel line. Let's do it. Click on there and get it in there. Yeah, they kind of do a night basisk, and you need uh, these. These are the duct tape parts, so struts. They uh, hold things together, so you need to have these to make it work better. Do I have wings on those? Does anyone remember? Did we have actually have wings on these? Because I don't remember wings. Well, this is this the new and improved. Actually, those are wrong engine engines as well. Uh, I think I may have actually wrong engine on there as well. I'm actually supposed to have this one. Uh, no, not that one. This one. Let me see. Uh, what do we? We uh, hide here. Mm, that's that's correct. Solid fuels are mainly. Yeah, I don't, I don't need the winglets there. They are useless. I, I do need them here. The solids are to take you to space, pretty much. Yeah, no wind. But this is... This ship will come home. Mostly. Or, or most of it will come home. So... I, I could use the wings when I actually land this back home. Because it, it is supposed to come home. I don't know. Let's let's not put those. The previous one didn't have them as well. I do need these. The landing struts. They're gonna be a bit higher. Down. Hold on, it's, uh, it's, it's good. 
you mean fall home? <laughs> yes, not Basilisk. Hey Bob Stan, how's it going? I w I wonder if I need to duct tape this thing in the main as well. Also, we could have wings on the top as well. In these. Also, one thing I, I could actually do and improve about these top engines is uh, have the fuel line go into the middle one. Ah, no, it, it's it's fine. Safely. <gasps> yes. Do you know about the B9 aerospace pack? No, I don't. Uh, Lol, it's me. I, I guess that's a mod. I haven't done any modding except the clouds mod. Yeah, Bungie, you, you're, you're correct. Yeah. <sighs> you, you guys are always always correct. <laughs> Uh, I just try to over engineer things. Let me get the start from there as well. Let's get one in the bottom as well. If I can actually see in there. It's gonna be interesting. To try to get there. Can I actually get into the into the rocket now? Oh, there we go. From there to there, actually, a bit more to the middle. Well, uh, good enough. B9 adds too much parts. Hmm. A swingless code, the general rule of thumb is no more than six on the bottom. We have, well, we have eight on the bottom and the top. I'm, I'm, um, I don't really want to use mods that add uh, parts, to be honest. I want to use mods that... Uh, well, actually, I, I do want to use mods that add parts. What am I saying? But no, not too much, and no, not too different. At, at least not for now. I, I'm not going to use mods until I'm done building and playing with all the regular parts. And uh, I'll probably get more of specific parts when needed. I really want to get... Uh, let's uh, name this... This is going to be Lander 2. Actually, this will be the... New Lander is going to be a bad idea. This is going to be... Oh, L Lander Mark 2, yes. on the nose. Uh, it's on the nose. I mean, not on the nose, but the parachute on the no is on the nose. My antenna is there, actually. Bell has been betrayed by the PA mods, <laughs> who made it too easy. Yeah, kinda. Uh, I was talking about the mods, by the way. Uh, no, well, not by the way, but I was talking about the mods uh, with Naku yesterday on his stream. And uh, I said that uh, when I'm actually done with the parts or the regular parts in the game and uh, played enough with those, I'll probably have my Kerbal be more modded than my Skyrim was <laughs> eventually, probably. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Hmm. What's the things on the side? Uh, on the top, you mean... Night Basilisk. Uh, this is a parachute here. And these are thermometers, barometers, solar panels, goo bots, stra uh, landing gears, and uh, the parachute and uh, the communicator. 
Replace it with solar panel. Hmm. 